everyone. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the new soccer stand. We actually have a fan that challenged me on Facebook. Matt. That's me. I'm here. I want to see what this guy's about. Thank you for being a passenger in the soccer stand, Matt. Yeah. And more importantly, of the K-Block party, I want to welcome everyone again. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not really um, a Golazo surprise because, you know, he's a passenger. He knows how it is here. But... PSG, baby. Oh, no, no, no. Real Madrid is better. I'm... I mean, we won 3-1. to one. That's right. You put that away. Welcome to the brand new soccer stand. It is the game where I will ask you questions. If you pass through the group stage to the knockout rounds and win the final, you'll get a prize, a great piece of imperial okay. from the great people at Ambitious Strike. Give them a like on Instagram and a follow on Twitter. They're always giving away stuff. So what do you say? You want to go for a ride in the soccer stand? Let's do it, man. Let's go for a ride in the soccer stand. Before we start our engines in the World Cup edition, you are going to be the first person to ever pick a team. There you are. This is the winner. Go right ahead. Now, passengers, this is a test edition. So if you see anything that you want to improve or want back, feel free to post in the comments. And we are picking a team that is not at the World Cup. Who'd you get? Show the K-Block party. Oh, no. I thought it was going to be. It's Netherlands. Got the Netherlands, the Dutch, Holland, whatever you call them. Now, we are headed over to the Columbus Crew home opener, the watch party here in Cleveland, Ohio. So, you ready? Let's do it. Beautiful. First question. So, the Netherlands have had a ton of great players don the orange for them. Their most capped player still plays actively. He's 33 years old. He plays for Qatari club Al Garafa, who is Netherlands' most capped player, appearing 133 times. Can I ask what position he plays? Since this is the first ever episode of the World Cup car, he is a midfield. Doesn't do me any good. This is still Can I use a line? Oh! What? A line? Bro, this is the soccer sedan. We don't have lifelines. We have substitutions, which you have to earn here in the group stage by getting questions right. So this one won't count against you if you don't get it right. Okay. I do not know. Um, Make a guess. Man, even a guess. Uh... Need an answer. Obviously, this is not even close to it because we all know he doesn't play for that team. I'm just gonna throw something out because I have nothing, but it's obviously I'm gonna throw Cristiano Ronaldo. We all know that's not even close to it. I have zero clue. Cristiano Ronaldo? <laughs> just <laughs> dunk. There's the X. Um, the right answer, you're gonna kick yourself. Wesley Snyder. Did you just say Wesley Snipes? I said Wesley Snyder. Uh, that's what you say. Uh, next question here. The Era Divisie is the premier division. In the Netherlands, its most decorated club is Amsterdam Ajax. They are in the red light district, which is a pretty cool place if you've never been there. I've never been there, but I know it's cool because I just do. Ajax is one of the many teams in the Eredivisie that wears red primarily in their home kit. Name me one other team in the Eredivisie that wears red primarily in their kits. Does anybody watch the Netherlands? <laughs> I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Who is the current leader? Remember the team that Josie Altidore played for? Oh God, man, I can't even think outside of the Bundesliga. I should have drawn the USA. God, I, my knowledge of Netherlands other than Amsterdam is none. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, yeah, nothing football club. That yeah. is not that I can enter it, don't. Well, I uh, could have said uh, uh, AZ Alcor, where Josie Altera played. Uh, the current leader's PSV Eindhoven. Okay, but hey, no pressure, no yellow cards, no red cards. Uh, but you're going to have one more chance to get a substitution, which can help you in the knockout stages. Uh, this isn't the Netherlands' first time they have not made the World Cup. The last time they made the World Cup was in 2002, when Brazil defeated Germany in the final by the score of 2-0. The question for the substitution. What two countries joint hosted the tournament? I mean, if it's a dual host, then it has to be in a... Think Asia. Uh... Was it Korea? North Korea is one of them, yes. And then who was the other one? Japan. No! I got it! Yes! yes. 
Now, uh, we, we haven't found out a way to, you know, give away the substitution. So uh, what do you want? Do you want the 50-50 ball, the street shout out in uh, Ohio where you saw that people, they knew everything about soccer. Yeah, of course. Out it looks like we got some uh, construction workers up here. You know, I love Cleveland. Let's, it's, it's cold out. Let's get these people talking because, you know, we got spring coming up. We got to get these guys, you know, a little bit more friendly. Deal. Sounds great. They all right. know about soccer. Now, this is where it counts. Get one wrong yellow card. Get a second one wrong piece. Here we go. The question is, so uh, Netherlands is actually, they have a lot of uh, interesting facts about the country. Did you know that? They are 26% below the sea level. Interesting. Okay. They eat more licorice than any other country in the world. Oof. You don't like licorice? Not black licorice. It's no. And also, they are home to the tallest average men in the world. Interesting. Okay. So, uh, of all players that are active on the Holland national team roster, who is the tallest? And it is the knockout round, so we're going to give you multiple choice. Is it A, the goalkeeper, Jasper Sillison? B, striker, Ryan Babel? C, Virgil van Dyke? Or D, Timothy Osu Mensa? I'm going to go with B, the striker. B, Ryan Babel. No, 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 that is not the right answer. I bet C, C. It, it was C, Virgil. Ah. And, uh, so you know what that means, welcome to the book, son. There is a yellow card for you. No, don't touch the, uh, don't touch the card. Sorry, sorry, okay. sorry sir. Well, don't forget though, you do have a substitution. So uh, we're gonna get to question five. Eredivisie is one of the longest running tournaments since 1965. It has been in business. The word Eredivisie means Premier Division or what blank division? Is it A, Honor Division, B, Courage Division, C, Orange Division, or D, Champions Division? I want to say A. Let's go with A, Honor Division. No red card, no red card, no red card, no red card. No! Yes! Yes! It is indeed Honor Division. Well done. Perfect. Beautiful. It's, it's too cold to walk outside right now. So that question gives you the right answer. On to the semifinals we go. Here we go. Let's see what you got. You got one right. Now it's time for question six. You do need to get this right to stay in the game. The Flying Dutchman host a rather unfortunate record. They have been beat in the finals more than any other team, and they have never won it. Most recently in 2010, Nigel De Young got away with a karate kick on a player from an opposing team. Which of the following countries has never beat the Netherlands in a World Cup final? Is it A, West Germany, B, France, C, Argentina, or D, Spain? Well, the fact that they threw West Germany in there makes me think that it has to be that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say A, West Germany. Don't tell me it's B. It's B! No, no. It's B. I need to start going with my secondary answers. It was B. It was France. Oh. Uh, we have to ask you to leave the Soccer Sedan World Cup edition. We appreciate you playing, Matt. I appreciate you being a fan uh, of, of the Soccer Sedan, being a passenger, and uh, being a, a subscriber of the K-Block Party. All right, we'll get out of here. All right, guys. I'll take the cab fare. All right. But thank you for coming in the Soccer Sedan. Thanks, man. Thank you. Well, uh, obviously the Netherlands was uh, not his uh, cup of tea or his uh, thing of liquid, whatever you call it. Everyone, stop what you're doing, listen to me. It is time for you to become a passenger in the all-new soccer stand, and more importantly, the K-Block Party. Please hit the subscribe button. It fuels the soccer stand so we can keep bringing you some awesome content. There is going to be a new episode out every Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you like that time, let me know. If you don't like that time and date, let me know. We're all about it. This is the qualifying round of the Sagar Stand World Cup Edition, so your feedback is super important. Be sure to share this video with a friend. If you're on Facebook, tag your friend and share it with all your followers. Like I said, every subscription, every like on the K-Block Facebook page or subscription to the K-Block YouTube channel goes a long way. It fuels the Sagar Stand. Hope you guys enjoyed this, so be sure to let us know what we can do to make your ride in the soccer stand more excited. My name is Kevin Oblocky. You can call me K-Block, the one and three make a beat. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and don't forget, always, keep the ball rolling on this football. Wake up, editor. See ya!